Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the eighth problem which came in BSAT BMAT 2019. So here is the problem which says that you have been given two subsets of the plane where the first subset C1 is equals to those points where x is greater than 0 and y is equal to 1 over x and C2 uh, contains those points where x is lesser than 0 and y is negative 1 plus 1 over x. And the normal definition of Euclidean distance has been defined. So the main thing we have to prove is that there exists two points, one point in C1 and another point in C2 for which the distance is minimum. So let's see how we can do this. So if you see that C1 is nothing but this graph. So this is C1. And C2 is nothing but this is the line y is equals to negative 1. And C2 goes something like this. This is C2. So before proceeding to the solution, let me tell you one thing that there are many complicated theories regarding the distance between two non intersecting curves. So, I always encourage my students to find a simple solution using some simple techniques that we know. So, let's see what we can do. So, we will take two points, one from C1 and one from C2. So, the points on C1 looks like this, which is in C1 and X is greater than zero and q is a point on c2 and this is one over u which is in c2 and you know that u is strictly less than zero now what is the distance between p and q so that is nothing but x minus u whole square plus 1 over x minus 1 over u minus 1 whole square. Okay, now let's write this as x. Now I will take my negative u as t and t is strictly greater than 0. So I'm replacing negative u by plus t whole square plus 1 plus x plus t by x t whole square. And now we see that x plus t is in both the portions. So we take x plus t as a. So this is a square 1 plus a and we take x t as b and x plus t as a so where x plus t is equals to a and x t is equals to b now we will apply amgm inequality on x and t since they are both positive reals so we can apply MGM inequality, x t whole to the power half. And that is nothing but x plus t whole square. Remember, we need x plus t whole square here. So that's a square. And that's coming out to be 4 times x t. And so replacing again x plus t by a, so this is a square is greater than or equals to 4 b. So from here we can say that a by b is greater than or equals to 4 by a. Why did we do that? Because we have here a by b. Now I can write distance of p to q is greater than or equals to root over 
a square plus 1 plus 4 over a by whole square. Now you see that I have just replaced a by b with 4 by a. Now let's take this as my function f of a. So f of a is equals to a square plus 1 plus 4 by a whole square. And if we take the derivative of f, so this comes out to be 2a plus 2 times 1 plus 4 over a, uh, negative 4 by a square. And this is equals to 2a minus 8 by a square minus 32 by a cube. And you can simplify it and write it as 2 times a to the power 4 minus 4a minus 16 by a cube. Okay, now this is equals to 0 when a to the power 4 minus 4a minus 16 is equals to 0 or a to the power 4 is equals to 4a plus 16. And if you notice that this equation, so if you draw the graphs of 4a plus 16, so it's basically a line and a to the power 4. Now you remember a is x plus t, which is greater than 0. So it looks like this. And they cut at only one point. So only one real solution of this equation. And now let's take the double derivative. So f double dash a, if you just calculate it, you'll get it to be 16 by a cube, 32 times 3 by a to the power 4. Here our a is a positive real, and so we get that this is strictly greater than 0. And so our function f of a attains its minimum value at a unique point a so now you know that uh, in amgm inequality the equality occurs when the variables are equal so this will happen the equality will occur that that means d of distance between p and q will attain its minimum when you have x is equals to t and you know that x plus t is equals to a and so x so 2x will be equals to a and x will be a over 2 and as well as t will be a over 2 but t is nothing but this is equals to negative of u so u will be negative of a over 2 so now you see that uh, since our a was uniquely determined so we have unique x and unique u for which the minimum occurs and you have unique points p and q where x and u are unique so p and q are unique in c1 and c2 respectively thank you